Hi, my name is Cassie Atfield, and I'm the co-founder of a brand new knee brace system called Sportnetic Straps Build Your Own Knee Brace. The reason you're probably with us today is because you've purchased our product and clicked on the Q-Scan code. And this video is going to give your instructions for how to use your knee brace, as well as little tips and tricks on how to maintain it for longevity. The reason that we came up with the concept of build your own knee brace was because my whole life I had been dealing with just multiple knee injuries. I'd gone through four different surgeries and I was sick and tired of all of my knee braces that I had not working, not being comfortable, being too big and bulky, or not giving me the support that I wanted. With our new system, all of these things are now eliminated. You basically get to build your own knee brace with our strapping system. And that allows you to not only have the comfort that you want, but also the support. So today, my daughter Michaela is going to help me and I'm going to show you just some of the multiple different ways that you can use our brace system. When you first get your brace, it's going to come in a package like this. We'll be using a medium size brace on Michaela today. And then when you open up your package, you're gonna get two pieces. So your first piece is going to be the knee sleeve, which will look like this. And then the second piece is going to be your detachable strap which will look like this, okay? So the first strapping technique that we're gonna do is for the ACL, which will be your inside of your knee, okay? If you're feeling pain in the inside of your knee. So the first thing that you're gonna do is latch, this is the scratchy material, to the back of the brace. So there's a Velcro spot right there. So you are first going to latch it on. Then you're gonna use it kind of like, almost like athletic tape, but your strap can be reused over and over where athletic ta tape can't. So you're gonna pull the brace to about 80% and then you're gonna adhere it to the latching system right there. Okay, and that will hold that in place. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come around the back of the leg, over the top of the leg, and adhere it to the top of the brace right there. Once you have that, then you can just wrap back around and over the side to underneath of your brace. This is gonna give full support, not only in your ACL, but also in that meniscus area, lifting it up. The strap coming across the top is gonna to stop your brace from moving, so it won't slide and it won't roll over. Then we're gonna come across, right under the meniscus on that part. Okay. Once we adhere that, then we're going to wrap around and instead of going all the way over top, we're going to go back underneath of this meniscus right here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come across the bottom and just add that extra support. So that will hold and lift your kneecap up. That's the first way to do it. When you become a little bit more comfortable with your brace, then this will be the second way that you can do it. And that second way is going to be, we're gonna pick the midpoint of the strap and we're gonna put that behind your kneecap. Well, like just at the bottom, kind of on your calf. So we'll have the two sticky ends sticking out here. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold this, this way, pull it, and we're gonna pull this up and latch it. Okay, the nice thing about the latching system is once you get this part down, then it will pretty much stay in place, but still just hold on to this other side of the brace. Then what we're gonna do is come around the top of the leg and we're gonna stick it to the top, okay? Then this strap is gonna come around the top. We're gonna to adhere it to that side. We're gonna come around the back of the leg and we're gonna come all the way across the top so that when you latch, you're latching this part to the strap 
and not to the brace itself. Okay. I do find this way gives more support. I also like it because you have the latching system on the top of the leg. So that will stop your brace from slipping or sliding or moving downwards. And it will keep this whole secure, this whole area really nice and secure. So the next strapping system that we're going to do is going to be for your outer lateral of your knee. Okay. So if you're having pain on the outside of your knee. So it's kind of the same as the inside of your knee, right? Except this time your main support is going to be in the back. So we're going to adhere the brace to the back of the, sh the sleeve. Okay. We're going to pull this again to 80%. We're going to wrap it there and we're going to adhere it by just giving it a little bit of a rub. As you use your brace more, it will become easier and easier for the strap to attach. When you first get it, you're going to want to rub quite a bit on there. And then we're going to go over the top, okay, attaching it over the top. And then once again, coming down on the inside of the knee and back around, adhering it to the strap on the back. So the last strapping process that I'm gonna show you today is for absolute full knee support. If you're like me and your knee is just really messed up, I have no ACL and no meniscus, it's just bone on bone, um, or really bad arthritis, this is probably what you're going to want to do, okay? So once again, we're gonna strap onto the back, but we're gonna strap this side. We're gonna come across the front of the knee, getting right into the edge right there. Then what we're gonna to wanna to do is go behind the leg one full time, adhering it to the top and coming down. Now, when you come back up to the side, you're gonna to wanna to come down across that front of that knee again. And now when we get down to the bottom, you're gonna to wanna to pull this band 100% of the tension you're gonna to wanna to come all the way around the back of the calf and adhere to the brace strap. And then the last thing that I wanted to bring up is that this brace is meant for you to build however you want. So you can use this strap on the brace however you want by just adhering it to the three point main points. So if you wanna start on the top and go around the top, you can do that because once you once you place the strap on the brace, it doesn't come off. It's adhered to the brace. It's not going to move around. So whatever you're wanting or whatever your needs are for your strap and doing your strap and doing your brace, just make sure that it's comfortable for you, for one, and make sure that it's just giving you the kind of support that you want and that you need. But it can go many, many, many hundreds of different ways, however you want to do it. That was the whole point of it is so that you can build it to your knees. I just wanted to give you guys a couple different techniques and ways to get you started off depending on your knee um, situation. And yeah, from there, there's just endless possibilities. So that's basically the gist of the build your own brace system. Now, don't forget that the possibilities are completely endless. And if you guys find different ways of strapping your knee that work for you, please post it below in the comments so that we can all share with one another and help one another. A few tips and tricks I wanna go over is this sleeve should not be machine washed. If you want to wash your knee sleeve, please do it by hand and please let it air dry so that it doesn't lose its elasticity basically. The next thing that I wanna go over is when you are adhering your strap to your brace, you can attach the strap to any part of the brace, okay? It will attach. However, it may also fray when you take it off. So if you're finding fraying on your brace, that is because you are attaching the strap to the brace. 
when you're strapping your knee, you want to make sure that you are adhering the last latch somewhere on to the brace or to the strap, not to the brace. Okay. So you want to stick it to the brace. That's what it's built for. It's not really going to wreck your brace uh, because the main part of the brace is actually when I pull it, you'll see this green part in it. That's the main part of the brace. Okay but it won't look as aesthetically pleasing, right? But if you find a way that works best, adhering the strap directly to the brace or to the sleeve and not to the points, then that's gonna work for you. And ultimately, no pain is probably your best solution. So once again, I thank you so much for watching. If you stumbled across this video by any chance, just happening to look for different ways of using a knee brace or different ways of strapping your knee or different ways of taping your knee and you're interested in the product, I will post a link to the product below. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy your knee brace and go live your life to the fullest.